Hey guys, so now it's time to get on to our balance training. We've had a go at balancing on the floor, standing on one leg, standing on the other, and having a think about our center of mass and our base of support. And I spoke in really simplistic terms in the other video about our center of mass and just imagining it's this big heavy part of our body. If you're interested in looking into the physics of centers of mass, then by all means you can go and look into that and there's a lot more to it. But for the sake of this, if we think about keeping our body, keeping most of our weight, above whatever's underneath us, then we'll be absolutely fine. We're going to have a go at getting onto and off of the balance trainer, and we're going to take our center of mass really low. A nice low center of mass will make us stable. If you think of something like a Formula One car, they're very, very low with a nice wide base. It stops them from being inclined to turn over under high cornering forces. So by having a low center of mass, we can keep ourselves nice and stable. Now getting onto our rail to begin with, we're going to put one foot onto the rail. I'm then going to bring myself down. My mass is now coming over to this foot, which is going to become my base of support very briefly. As I then bring my other foot up and get my balance on the rail. I'm using my arms for a little bit more balance and support here, but I'm nice and low, sitting on my heels. My torso is above my feet, and I've got the balls of my feet on the rail, and my heels are nice and high. I'll show you that again from the side. I'm stepping onto the rail with the ball of my foot. I like to wear a shoe that's got a nice, thin sole so I can grip that rail with my toes. From here, I'm gonna sit myself down. I'm actually sitting onto my heel. I'm now shifting my weight over this front leg, my knees out in front of me, so I can get up. And you'll see that my weight is above the balls of my feet. And I've got these little tiny shifts trying to keep myself in balance, but my heels are nice and high and all of my weight is above the ball of the feet, which is above the rail, and I'm staying in balance. I can then step off. So for the first exercise for us to do is to see if we can get onto the rail on one foot, step off, onto the rail on the other foot, step off. From here, stepping up, getting our balance, making sure we're holding balance. Don't just get onto it and fall off. See if you can really hold your balance and you know that you're in control of this movement and you're not going anywhere. And stepping off. And see if you can lead with the other foot, Shifting our weight over that uh, leading foot, which is going to be a base of support. Then shifting the other foot up. We're trying to hold that balance position. And stepping down. You can do that a few times, see if you can step up and shift your weight around. You can try and have your feet a little bit wider, a little bit narrower, seeing what works for you. We're all built slightly differently, so find where you're most comfortable balancing. I find that I'm most comfortable balancing with my feet about hip width apart, so my feet are straight underneath my hips, my knees slightly turned out, sitting on my heels. What you'll find if you step onto your rail is that you will really need your heels to be above the ball of your foot. If you drop your heels, and this is something common we see when people start learning to step on rails, if you drop your heel, you will fall backwards. And I'll show you what I do. So if I step onto the rail and I drop my heels, it's going to send me backwards. I need my foot to be either completely flat or with my heel above my toe, and I exaggerate that. I really do lift my heels up so all of that weight is pushing down the balls of my feet when I'm stepping onto a rail. So our next challenge, can we step onto the rail and hold our balance through a range of motion? Stepping on my nice low center of mass. Can I stand all the way up, keep my balance, so my weight, my mass has to stay above my base of support, above my feet. Standing all the way up, and then coming back down. Again, I'm looking at something that's not moving, keeping my weight above me. And it's really important here to keep your torso, keep your body, keep your center of mass above your base of support, above your feet. I'll show you that again from the side. But we're stepping on, making sure that my heel is above my toe, so I'm not here. And also, when we stand up, it's very important to not do this because you'll immediately go forward. You really have to keep that torso, keep your center of mass above your base of support, which in this instance is your feet, and that's on the rail. So you've got a really very, very, very small, very narrow base of support. So our weight has to stay above. From here, keeping that torso upright, coming up, and then back down. Set up. Try it yourself, see if you can get on one foot, Stand up, back down, and try and lead with the other foot. Stand up, back down. Can you go up for the count of three? Can you go up for the count of five? Can you come down for the same count? 
How many times can you go up and down before losing your balance? And showing balance is about showing slow control. We don't just want to get onto the thing, throw ourselves around and then fall off. And especially not if you're doing this on a hard floor like I am here. Nice and controlled, nice and careful. How many times can you go up and down? How long can you stay on the rail without losing your balance? Give it a go. I'll see you in the next one.